Oh, that's cool. It's like Christmas, guys. Look at these egg smashers. Wow. <laughs> all these toys. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> guys, we've got the all new Smashers Mega Light Up Dinos. Woo! There's only two to collect, guys. You have the red bone and the yellow bone. Well, let's take a look at these first before we define what you're going to find and which of the bones here. Zuru Smashers Mega Light Up Dino, over 25 surprises. And it's the light up and. <laughs> and that bone has a button on it you can pick. You have a bone to pick or a bone to push. And you can see right there, it says press and try me. And it's series four dino. Hey, look, you got some batteries here. Well, they're included, it says, but if they run out of juice, they're one and a half volts and they're the AG13s, A76 or LR44s. Then that's on the front and let's go to the back. It says same thing, Zero Smashers, Mega Light Up Dino. And you can smash, fizz, build, and more. First of all, you smash, then you slime, fizz, stretch, find, and then build and more. And it says collect all the smasher swords. There's only two to collect. You can see one is the T-Rex, and then the orange is the one that's not T-Rex. Yeah, I know, I need to study up on my dinosaurs, but that's what we're here to find out. We're here to learn, dudes, totally. And it says the Zuru Smashers Mega Light Up Dino Egg is packed with over 25 dynamite surprises for you to discover. Find the large dino smash that lights up and makes dino sounds. Unwrap and follow the map. Then smash, fizz, slime, and build the ultimate smash -osaur. And then this egg includes one epic dino egg, one meteorite bag, one scratch and find map, five glow-in-the-dark stickers, one glow-in-the-dark lava slime, one fizzy lava volcano, one color change sand, one stretchy lava Foam, four mini smash eggs with four surprise characters, one smash egg rebuilder, one smash star, one DNA tube, one instruction sheet, one collector's guide. Is warning not suitable for children under 36 months. Choking hazards, small parts and small balls. Do not aim at eyes or face. Only use smasher toys as projectiles. I'm only supposed to use it as a throwing thing, as a projectile? <coughs> Wash hands with clean water thoroughly before and after using the product, keeping hands dry to play. To avoid drying, store it in a tight sealed container. This product is not edible. <laughs> do not put in your mouth. Call a doctor immediately if ingested. Do not stick on your eyes or face. Do not use in fabric, hair, or porous surfaces that cannot easily be white clean. Residue or color may transfer. Attention, please keep this packaging as it contains important information. So like you said, we got two of them bones here. You got the red and you got the yellow. Now the one is the T-Rex and the other one, I presume, I mean, without opening them up, I guess it's supposed to be more orange based upon the pictures that we saw is the other not Tyrannosaurus Rex. I don't know what the other dinosaur is called. He just looks cool. He's got a big fin on his back. I'm going to skill too. You want to find out what it sounds like? Let's do the yellow first. So go ahead and you push this top right here. I don't know, that yellow bone sound like it was more ferocious. There is a difference. Still sounds terrifying. So guys, which one should I open up first? Uh, let's go for the yellow first here. And look, go over here, they have a little zip line. That's right, it's a zipper dipper. Instead of trying to get your fingernail and turning it down, turning off a part of your fingernail, maybe use the fork and just go right down where that arrow's at. I kind of get a little purchase in between. Hey, there we go. Oh, wow. That's pretty stubborn. Man, even the perforations aren't perforated. They just look like they are. Oh, God, no kid's gonna be able to break through this. I, I think I'm damaging the egg. Man, wouldn't you like to give this baby a crack? Oh, I see. So look at that. So they had the perforation which will come off, but I got behind the plastic underneath and that's why that wasn't coming off. There you go, see, I was trying to tear through two layers of plastic. Ain't happening, so do they have perforation for this one or are we on our own? So you can barely see the perforation where the original perforation on the first layer of plastic was, right? You can barely see it as compared to over here. Now you can see it right there. That's why we adventure fun, do what we do. We make the impossible possible. So let's go ahead and put the fork down in there. Oh, easy, look at that. Cool, look at that egg. That's a cool looking egg. It's like they got bug splats here and some claw marks. Now, how do we open it up? Do I dare? Like a regular egg. Crack, oh, you could crack it and start to crack. Probably the best thing to do is just to squeeze it and pop it off. Whoa. Oh, look, inside. You can see the speaker right there. So cool, I guess if you want to go ahead and put it back together and just make sure the smasher's right side up. Let's see if we can do it. We'll slide it back in. We're gonna reconstruct the moment. 
okay, I think I did it. Now which one's front, which one's back? Does it make a difference? Does it, does it make a difference? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh. No! And then let's see if I can look like a pro. Ah. <laughs> no pain, I'm going to my zone. All right, guys, we're back. What are we doing, camera mom? Oh, smashers. <laughs> Let's finish it. Guys, we got stickers, woo! We got some bug-eyed skull freak here. Eyeballs popping out of eggs, which looks kind of freaky. Seashell, some nasty mosquito. And then the cool part is our T-Rex skull. Awesome. And they're glow-in-the-dark stickers. Hey, I didn't know that. It says right on the back, they glow in the dark. You glow stickers. Okay, before we open the package, let's open this up right here. Uh, okay, they got two of them here. Let's see which one do we want to use first. We'll open this one up first. Okay, this one is how to rebuild the smashers, the egg. Once you get the hammock, guys, super easy to do. We did it for the ice age. It was impossible. We were throwing smashers all over the place, just yelling and screaming, ah, crazy Zuru! But we figured it out, and it helps to actually have a little egg container to put it in. And then once you rebuild it, you throw it against the wall, and you smash it. And then on the back is the collector's guide. Ooh! We like to collect things, especially ultra rares. Do they have anything like that, camera mom? <laughs> the flaming caveman. He's cool. He was the ultra rare in the ice age, and we got a lot of him. We hope to put those videos out soon in the ice age. If you guys would still like to see that, we'd like to put that video out. Great. Now for our other page here. First of all is the dino fact. Spinosaurs were the biggest of all carnivore dinos, and the scientists think that they were the first dinosaur to ever able to swim. Wow, pretty cool. He's got a spine on his back. He's a spinosaur. And this little bone right here, apparently you're gonna pull this off and stick it inside of him. So whenever like you lift his mouth or push his nose or yank his tail, he's gonna roar. I would roar too if you yank my tail. And then there you go, down below it has all the steps and how to build it. Over on the other page, it says swing spinosaur tail to light up the dino. And then we got glow in the dark lava slime. Mix slime thoroughly for best glowing effects. Expose the slime to a light source to make it glow brighter. And if you use a black light, it'll glow even brighter. And it doesn't take as long to get get the little particles and they're charged up to glow. Oh, we've got the color change sand. Color change sand reacts at 31 Celsius. So the 31 Celsius is 87.8 degrees in Fahrenheit. I'm a Fahrenheit dude. Color changing sand reacts at 31 Celsius after playing with hand. So once you're done playing with your hand, let's see if it changes. <laughs> it just sounds like a weird sentence to me. I'm just trying to like figure this out. Man, there's so many words. Oh, almost forgot we had another side. It's a volcano scratch map. Be cool if it was a <laughs> scratch and sniff. Mmm, volcano. Hey, with the scratch map, we're gonna use a real gold dip treasure coin from Treasure X. You know where we got this from, guys? It was our Treasure X sunken gold. And those are the different gold coins you can collect. And the one we got here was plunder pounds. And on the back, ooh, all the different fun characters you can collect. Treasure X is another thing that we do. We have fun with it. So we got a gold coin to help us scratch off. So the very first one says every dino has a tail to tail. And so we're just gonna go ahead and see what tail he has to tail by scratching it. Ooh, it's taking me on a gurney. It's a color changing sand, woo! So, you know what? It's all inside of this fireball, the big flaming top here, and it's coming down and it smashes, and at the bottom you got the T-Rex. And what's kind of cool is they got a little uh, tag on here where actually air gets pumped into the bag to blow it up, and then it just self-seals. And then it's got over here, well, both sides. You got the scissors that aren't included, so you can cut it open. But you want to be careful when you cut it open. You don't want to cut through anything that you may want. We're going to cut through this. And you know what? If it's air pressurized, I wonder if we'll make a nice little pssst. It was flat. There's no air in that thing. Oh, that's cool. It's like Christmas, guys. Look at these egg smashers. How many do we get? We got three so far. We got the fizzing in lava. And then we got mega light up dino. Oh, there's the stretchy foam. Wow. <laughs> All these toys. And there's our lava slime. All righty. Oh, there's the bottom of the egg builder where you put the egg in there to recreate your smasher. Awesome. Guys, that's our color changing sand. Anything else? Hey, Whew, glad I checked one more time. We got another smasher. And that looks a little bit better now that it's flat, doesn't it, guys? I mean, that'd be super cool to have a balloon like that for your birthday. Okay, so it looks like you got a little notch there that you can pinch above and below it and then just tear it. Oh, you gotta have tiny fingers to do that. Cool, and then we just open the Ziploc here. Man, they make it so tight, I can't get my masculine fingers in there. There's the color changing sand that came with the tail. 
Oh, there we go, because that's what it says right here, guys, right? I got a tail to tell. We found the tail. So color changing sand. Let's see if it changes color at 87.8 degrees. Let's try to put it in her hand. It's like I'm Superman. I crushed this so hard, it'll turn to diamonds if it was coal. We'll soon find out if I'm hot enough to do this unboxing. Oh, it is changing a little bit. It's not enough to brag about, so I want to hold it on. Come on, hands work, man, work! <laughs> oh, I don't know. It is changing colors, guys. It's going to a lighter orange, yellowy. Do you see that? If I was a chicken, I'd sit on it and see if I could hatch a lighter color, but it ain't happening. So it changes. It just lightens up to a little bit more of a yellow than the original color orange here, right? Let that sit out. We gotta have something to work with, like, oh, cool. It's that, what's that sand? Kinetic sand, look at that. It's just so cool to play with this. It just kind of like folds in. So does it get more orangey? So look, we'll use this as the control. Then I'll take this and I'll put it in my hand and I'll try to heat it up and see. There you go. Look at that, different color change of sand. There we go, it's more of a yeller now, instead of a darker orange. And I had to breathe on that. I just need to eat more meat. Okay, next stop, do your lava dinosaurs. I love the dinosaur. So we need our coin, coins. And let's see if, how much we lava them. Let's go ahead and scratch. And what do we get here, guys? Hey, it's slime time. Butamus picture of our lava slime. Let's see if we can do this again. This little teeny tiny tear. God, they don't give you much to actually pull it open. They just give you a little teeny tiny plastic. I can't even get my thumb down in there far enough to open it. <laughs> Ooh, that is slimy. Oh, that, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of nacho. Hey, nacho cheese. Cause that's the color of it. And I can see why they say don't eat it. <laughs> this is like like nacho cheese to you. Pour that on some chips. Mm. But yeah, don't eat it, guys. Oh, that is slimy. And if it sticks to your hands, if you get your hands a little bit wet, a little bit of water on it, it won't stick. Okay, so you lava slime. Yes, we I lava you. Well, let's pick out our uh, legs here. Oh, ow. Look at that piranha. <laughs> He's getting his own dinner. I mean, look at that guy. He's got his choppers right into him. He ain't letting go. Talk about a parasite and going in for gold. <laughs> oh, look at that slime. That's like yolk egg snot. Oh, you guys ever had a raw egg? It's safer if you cook it, but just when you swallow that stuff, the white part goes down you first, and then that yolk just sits there. That finally yolk just cracks right in your throat and just goes, Bleh. it nasty. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that's egg snot. Huh? Huh? <coughs> Ugh, dude, me. I'm allergic to dinosaurs. Okay, back to our. Man, I feel like Dorothy. Follow the yellow bricks. No, the gray scratch map. Follow the gray scratch map. Follow, 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 follow. Now, the next one. How much do you volcano? What would that be? And that's the fizzing lava. All right, that's the next step to build our dino. Gotta go to the fizzy mines. And then on the bottom, it tells you what you need to do. Just go ahead and peel the top and drop, drop, drop. Fill it with water. And we'll see the fizz come out. Oh man, there's no zip lines to tear. How am I gonna get the soap? <laughs> okay, do I just pinch and peel? Is it weak plastic? Kind of, all right. There's something in there. Oh, there you go. This is not the food. It is not editable. So don't eat it once you pull it up, okay guys? Let's pull it back. So you can see right there, you got a honk of fizz. Well, as soon as you pour water in it, it'll fizz out. It's up to you if you wanna pull the bones, the arms out, it looks like arms. One arm, two arms. Should we do the volcanic fizz? Woo! Let's do this thing! But hey, we're gonna go ahead and pour the water and see how fizzy we get. Oh, you hear that? Listen to that. It's like soda. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's the fizz. Cool. That's awesome. Put your little arm back in and see if it floats. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Hope does not float. We just lost an arm. 
and another arm. I mean, it's a pretty color, kind of like Kool-Aid. Don't drink it. You see, I can see why. You got your nacho cheese, you got your Kool-Aid. <laughs> it's like, you gotta stop. You can't think of food when you're doing this because, you know, you eat this and it's not good. That's why I don't want to be a doctor, man. It's so hard doing surgery. <laughs> it's just all these legs and things. Okay, next, your head ding. And something about the head. So what's that gonna lead us to when we do our scratch? It's stretchy foam. Sweet, okay, where's our foam? Right here. There we go, stretchy foam. Tear that out. Wow, this map knows everything. Head, head ding, and look what I found. A head. <laughs> All right. cool. There's our stretchy foam. Look like little beads. Let's see how stretchy it is, guys, okay? Kinetic sand was cool, but what about the beads? It kind of reminds me of Rice Krispie Treats. Man, this is nothing but like a hunger fest. It's like, I got my nacho cheese, I got my Kool-Aid, and now I got my Rice Krispie Treats. It's stretchy foam, it doesn't really stretch, it's just very sticky foam. They probably meant sticky foam. Let me roll it into a ball, into a snowball. Listen to this. Now, we have one more package left, but I just don't trust myself. I gotta go to the map. Everybody wants a pet dino. Body. Everybody wants a pet dino. So I guess this is the one that says the light up, but then this one has like a speaker in it. Don't we just take, I don't know, maybe it's an extra speaker in here. So there you go, mega light up dino. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is like very methylene like plastic. Whoa. And so we do take the speaker out of here and put it in his body. In fact, here it is, the little hatch that you pop open to put the, that speaker in. And what's cool is like, look at his little fin there, the Spinosaur. That looks pretty cool, I like that. Sweet, now we gotta build ourselves a dinosaur. <laughs> okay, let's see how we do it. Okay, so first of all, we gotta get the speaker out. And if you look inside here, see the speaker? It looks like it's rubber band in. So if we just get rid of that rubber band and cut it or just pull it out, it's not coming out easy, so I wonder if you just twist and turn or just twist and shout. Well, I guess just keep pulling. It's a little bit hard at first, and the rubber band does get in the way. Man, it looks like one of those crystal things that you do for like Luke Skywalker's uh, sword, kyber crystals. That's one big kyber crystal. <laughs> That's cool. And look, there's a little button right there. When you push that, let's see. Yeah, there you go. And there's the speaker. Cool. Okay, so what you wanna do, step two is just open up his belly. Okay guys, well it looks like with the button that when you put that in the body of the dinosaur, you want the button at the bottom. So in other words, here's the top and you're gonna put it in like this because the button has gotta be at the low end so when the tail moves, it actually pushes the switch. And plus, I don't think it'll fit backwards like that. It doesn't even go in. So if you do it the other way, it slides in just nicely, okay? So then we'll put the stomach back in Snap it, oh, where's the head? Snap that in place, and then the tail. Oh, right. So on the left side, we're gonna put the fish that's biting into his leg, and on the other side, and then his hands, oh, still bleeding. <laughs> on that side, and this side. Okay, so you can adjust the uh, legs. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. And it looks like you move the tail back or forth to get him to scream. Ow. I see that. Did you, did you hear that snap? It was like breaking his tail. And then his dorsal fin likes up. So you put it back into place and then you break his tail again. You hear that horrific bone popping snap when you try to break his tail off. Maybe we've got a lemon here, guys, but it's the only way that this thing's gonna roar. Okay, guys, we got our smashers, four of them here, and there's no rares, ultra rares, or anything, or legends in here at all, so the one that I like the most, I think, is the Flaming Caveman! Just sounds cool. Well, yeah, these got little perforations too, so just go ahead and get your fingernail to get it a little bit at the start there, and then easy to tear off. Yeah. So you can see the egg smasher. It's like a nice little egg. It's got the logo there, and it's got a little imprints of fossils on it. And what you do is you just smash it. It just goes everywhere. It says projectiles. Oh, oh camera bomb. 
I was trying to aim the camera and it hit the top of the camera and went over. Ooh, I'm gonna get it. Don't go, guys. If you leave me alone with her, she's gonna whip these at me. You got that on film. That's going up. I'm publishing that to everybody. <laughs> Look what we got so far. We got Sizzle Bear. And we got Danger Deer. Hey, cool. We got the uh, Fire Ox. I would think he's a rare. I'm making up my own rares here. <laughs> I got one rare. Woo! And, oh, he looks pretty cool. I don't know about him. It's Burnt Bronto. Sounds like a burrito. We got some Burnt Bronto. You like it. And then how to rebuild these things. Oh my gosh. This takes patience, but it's super fun once you get the hang of it. It's like riding a bike, you know, once you're doing it, you're like, man, I ain't gonna make it. But then, you know, you fall a few times, you get all bruised, bloodied and stuff. You get back up and then you can do it. So this is how you build an egg. First thing you wanna do is you want to get all the parts. These are the sides. The most curvy part is gonna be the top and the one that's not as curvy is gonna be the bottom. And then this one's gonna be the side. Well, actually you have two sides. So where's the other side? It doesn't matter. Uh, they're all the same here, it looks like. So let's go ahead and take the not so curvy part. You can see the difference between the two. That one's gonna be your bottom. Drop that in the egg and then take these two. You see how there's two sides to this? You got a short side and a long side. The short sides, I put them in on the side. So it slides right down into that little guy right there, okay? And you wanna make sure they're kinda of lined up. There we go. Looks pretty good so far, right guys? Then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take one of my dudes and put him in there. Cause you wanna smash him again. Or better yet guys, you may wanna put him candy, just smash him again, you know, Easter egg hunt, whatever. Okay, then you wanna put the logo on one side just so it's, you know, it's right side up, not down. And then go ahead and put that on one side and let it just slide in gently. And then we'll turn around and again, the logo's up and you wanna slide it in gently. Okay, so far looking good, right guys? And then the last part is you wanna take this guy and you wanna push it through. And when you push it through, you wanna bend it up to get it over and to pop onto the other side, okay? So I'm gonna push it through and I'm gonna push with my thumb and grab with my index finger and try to pull it up at the same time I'm pushing from behind. There you go. Oh. That's amazing. Go ahead and mash that with pride, camera mom. You just smash that thing. It's a flying projectile. You can throw it at anybody you want, but just remember, you hurt the talent and you won't have any more Venture Fund dad. You'll be the Venture Fund mom. She always wanted to be the Venture Fund mom. Yes! Woo! Super cool, oh, guys. God, it's Okay guys, now for the next smasher here. And this one's our Spinosaur. Now for the one with the red bone is gonna be the T-Rex. So it's the same thing all the way around. The only thing that's gonna be different is damn bones. Oh, we ran out of thread. <laughs> Oh, that was like butter. Had preparation on the same side, made it easy. Now this time we'll just try it this way. That's easier. Looks like the same bag, right guys? And you get the same stickers, okay? So it looks like at this point, everything's gonna be the same except for the dinosaur. There you go, same thing, smashers, and what you can collect. Okay guys, here's one from the Spinosaur. Here's one that we haven't revealed yet, which is the T-Rex. Probably the same thing. They both have tails, they have arms, legs, things. We'll go through that. Except on the back, instead of information about the Spinosaur, you're gonna get it about the T-Rex. Dino fact, T-Rex could grow as long as a school bus and had 60 sharp teeth used to throw prey into the air and then swallow the prey whole. Think of that, you toss that thing in the air, just like, ah. Just coming down, seeing those rows of teeth and he's just swallowing you whole. It's like, I grab a tooth and hang on. You know, you gotta think about these things, guys. Oh, we gotta open this up. And you can see it's just the same flaming ball. And let's go ahead and cut it open. Sweet. Look at all this booty. Woo! Major storage. Looks like it's all the same stuff, guys. Let's go ahead and see if it's the same. Every dino has a tail to tail. So it looks like right there, guys. See that? Sand and sand, so it's just the same thing, except you're not building a Spinosaur, you're building a T-Rex. There's our sand. Okay, there's a color changing sand. There's the first sign of our T-Rex's tail. Nice. And the next one should be, okay, lava slime. 
So guys, what do you think the color's gonna be in this lava slime? It was egg snot for the orange dude here, the spinal sore, and it was red probably for the T-Rex. Maybe. We still get our egg snot, our cheddar cheese. What's next? How much volcano is the lava, lava fizz? All right, here we go, guys. This time we're just gonna pour it in as fast as we can, okay? Ready, three, two, one. Now that's fizzy, woo! <laughs> you see little bubbles popping up there? Oh, you can hear it, that's pretty cool. Then after that, we're heading in the right direction. Where do we head to? Stretchy foam. It's hard to open up the other packages once your hand's been slimed. <laughs> Oh, his head is cool. Look at that mug. See, he's got the choppers. Look at that tongue hanging out. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, same thing. Last is uh, everybody wants body. And so we got our body coming out. There's our body. Now we got to go back here. The rubber bands are around it. We just got to like pull it. Take the bottom off. Remember, this part has got to go at the lowest side um, towards the back and it'll slide in. There we go. Oh man, his head. That's the worst part. Oh. There we go. Okay guys, now to flick his tail. So like this one, you had to snap it, almost break it. Hear the breaking sound of bone before you could hear him roar. And this one. Oh, that one is smooth. That's the way it ought to work, guys. There was no bone breaking sound here. That's cool. I think we had a lemon. And look at this. His tail looks like it fits right, right guys? His tail here, you just have to hear the breaking before it. Ouch! I hope I get the flaming caveman because man, I got the rare cavemans, the glow in the dark from the ice age. Now I want to have a flaming one. So let's see, bombs away. It looks like you can stick them on top of a pencil. I don't think he'll erase anything. <laughs> so this one is the blaze bison. Come on, flaming caveman, flaming caveman. Oh, he's a cool looking one. I like his little clear skin there. And that is the warm wolf. I think he's more of a rare. We got a rare, woo! Oh, come on, flaming caveman. Our scorched snake. Flaming caveman. If you guys believe, I'll believe. You guys just didn't believe. I was, <laughs> I'm the only one. It was camera mom. She admitted it. Does anybody want to apply for camera mom? Hey. <laughs> Looks like we got here is our red hot raptor. Woo, little chili. Mmm, I'm gonna make some good tonight. Woo! So guys, who's your favorites? Is it the T-Rex or the Spinosaur? And I think my favorite, the T-Rex. But I like the big fin on the back of his. So guys, first of all, the glow in the dark stickers, and we got a black light on it because the black light will charge the particles up a lot faster and last a lot longer than just a normal light. So in three, two, one. Whoa, yeah, super cool, guys. It's a flaming. They glow really well, awesome. Yeah, I just hate little Johnny put that next to his bed and wake up in the middle of the night with that thing looking at him. Creepy. Let's just take a, whoa. Oh, T-Rex, look at that. It looks red under normal lights, but the black light shows that uh, Zuru used a different type of material. And then over here, oh my goodness, he is totally orange, our Spinosaur. He looks awesome. Oh, look at the goo on my hand, <laughs> the slime. That is cool. That's cool. And the smashers. Guys, you could have a barrel of fun with this black light. You know, when the kids get bored of this, parents just throw a black light up and let them play all over again. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna go ahead and do the Spinosaurus, see what it looks like in the dark. Oh, sweet. That is super cool, guys. That red light made it look so awesome. Wow. And then you get a kickback again. And it's kind of changing. Oh man, that is awesome how that color just goes up the light through his fin there. Oh man, that light stays on for a while, doesn't it? Whoa, cool.
Cool. Oh, at least it gets some of nightlight enough just to run to the bathroom here. And then here you go for our T-Rex. Cool. But not as cool as Spinosaur. Oh, I love the green. Oh, that's cool. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.